I think the most direct influence is probably linked to the fact that I need some form of visual reference to work from. Um, so I find it very difficult to just um, sit in front of a canvas and imagine what I'm going to be painting. Uh, I think that's also very much affected by the fact that I'm a figurative painter. Um, and so I do want there to be something of a readable image with figures, with interaction with space. And so I often work with models. Um, I uh, set up parts of the still life. If there's an aspect in my work, if there's a still life, I'll actually set that up and work from it. Um, and with hindsight, I think that's quite coherent with the idea of being aphantasic because I don't necessarily have the ability to just kind of conjure an image and work from that image. The way in which I see my aphantasia is actually quite linked to also having some certain spatial awareness. So I might not have the visual imagination or the object imagery that I did, the ability to conjure an image, but I definitely have the ability to kind of conjure a structural understanding of something. Um, that can be linked either, for example, to anatomy. Um, I've been done quite a lot of study into anatomy and that might be linked as well. That for me it becomes a very useful kind of functioning and work, working tool. So I can maybe not imagine the, the figure that I want to draw, but I can have a structural understanding of how that muscle might interact with that bone or how that gesture might work, which I think probably feeds into the working process. And I guess that a certain understanding of perspective also allows you to understand how you can construct some kind of um, composition. Um, and so I think that those tools that are very spatially related are very useful to me. I started off with an image of Dura because I um, quite like the parallel that there is between uh, investigating a little bit about the notion of aphantasia and how you construct images, yeah. especially when you are aphantasic. Um, so I wanted to get the idea of a structure that was potentially three-dimensional, but then also breaking with that three-dimension, like three-dimensionality, and making it a sort of impossible space. And then at the same time, I wanted to incorporate some of the research that I'd done into aphantasia. So I thought that it would be quite nice to have a visual aspect, but also a conceptual aspect. And I thought the easiest way of doing that was to actually put almost like a blackboard of the thought process that you would have. Um, and so I just incorporated that into the image. And so it was actually quite a fun drawing to do because it's different to the way in which I would normally work potentially, but it was an investigation very much, a sort of visual investigation into aphantasia as I was also reading about it and discovering more about what it actually meant to me.